Hello, welcome to my latest shopping haul. My name's Liana and this is Feeder Tribe. So today we've been to Costco. It is a Friday. We also went to pick up our fruit and veggies. As you may know if you've watched my last couple of grocery hauls, I get my fruit and vegetables delivered to my parents' house because they don't deliver to my area, but it's a fabulous deal at the place I get. And so it's worth me traveling to my folks' house to pick them up. At the moment, my parents are on a holiday. And so I went to pick them up, but there's a huge window of time that they may deliver in a day. And usually they deliver it early but my things weren't there yet. So we have to go on another drive to collect the fruit and vegetables, but that's okay. We have been to Costco today. I went with nine of my 10 children and picked up a few things, including way too many snacks. So it just sort of happened today. We've got lots of snacky things. So what I'm going to do is I've already done a small shop at Woolworths earlier in the week, which I included in this two week sort of haul as well as a shop at an outlet store. And I've had this morning the main Woolworths delivery arrive. I'm going to show you the footage from those three things now, and then we'll come back to present day Friday. This mop head and mop was half price, so I grabbed it because we do go through them. It was the same price as a one mop head normally would be. These stuff baby wipes were half price, so I thought we'd give them a go. Got one pack to try. These Jif Power and Shine Citrus Fresh White were half price, so I thought I'd try those for the bathroom. Some shampoo and conditioner for my shower. This was half price, so I grabbed it to put away. We don't need it at the moment. Um, just a uh, Baby head to toe wash Isla has one already going at the moment. We've still got some ice cream cones, so I grabbed some of this. Two packets of Smith's Duos. Hot Wings and Ranch, we haven't tried these. I thought they'd be fun for the kids to try, so I've got two packets just for them to share. This tin of Cadbury Roses were half price, so I grabbed it. Holiday season stuff. I thought I grabbed three packets of the Pumpkin Succotars and three packets of the beetroot ones but it appears I have five packets of beetroot and three of uh, two of pumpkin we still have some dip in the fridge so the kids need some crackers to go with that I can also cut up vegetables obviously but they'll enjoy crackers as well these tortillas were half price so I actually grabbed six packets I don't know if we need two or three packets per meal I thought I might do some sort of um, tortilla bake because uh, I haven't done one in a while. Packet of chips for Jack. This is a multi-pack, I think 10, uh, for Jack to take to school. And also some muesli bars for Jack to take to school. Whole seed ones, same. And then I also grabbed some Atkins ones because they were half price and I really like them. These taste like Snickers. They're so delicious. So Anthony and I enjoyed these. And then I grabbed, these were half price, <laughs> everything was half price. So I grabbed three of the espresso, they're like mini little wafers. And I grabbed three of the vanilla. They're a nice little afternoon treat as a family, have with coffee and or milk or whatever. And same brand, I just grabbed two packets of the longer ones as well to pop away. These Heinz Beans creations were half price still, so I grabbed two of the chili beans and two of the fiery Mexican just to pop away. We already have some, but you know, these are just something good to stock up on. Jack enjoys them, so do a couple of the other kids. And then I got six Chobani Fit strawberry yogurts for myself because uh, they were also half price. Then I think this was half price. I grabbed two packets just for tomorrow, for something a bit different, even though tomorrow's a Tuesday. I think on a Tuesday, everyone needs something. It's just something exciting um, to get through that Tuesday artist. So berry shake, cereal. And then I grabbed some ham, just to pass over for a couple of days, as well as uh, four loaves of bread. I just ran out of InWash Booster. So I grabbed one of these to get me through until I do the big shop. 
Nivea deodorants were half price. I got four three litre milks because we've just run out of milk. We've made up a bit of powdered milk, but we prefer this. Anthony requested Coke, so I grabbed one for him. Toilet paper. I was running low on like uh, things to put cakes and things in for the festive season when we bake. So I grabbed two of the sort of cupcake size ones and then two of the cake ones. They were half price, they were all half price. So I took advantage of that. Okay, it is Thursday and yesterday I did, I went to NQR, which is an outlet store, grabbed a few things, got some great deals. And today I have put through an order to Woolworths online and also to the fruit and veggie place. So tomorrow the main haul stuff happens, but for now I'll show you what I got at NQR. They had the three for $25 deal on the coffee beans, so I grabbed three more packets that's a fantastic deal i'm getting building up my stock of coffee beans which is very exciting then i got three packets of the teriyaki chicken smith's chips these were a dollar each i believe so grab them for the kids to try i got two packets of this jack was shopping me with me again my older son jack goes to nqr with me Helps me choose all the good deals. Lamb and rosemary, I've got two packets of this. Not quite sure where the other one is. Kids been going around the house with them. <laughs> and I've told them they can't try these until Jack gets home today. Two of these big packets of Arnott's Cheese Board Cracker assortments. $3 for this huge box. I got two packets of Messy Monkey's Banana Blast. They were $2 a packet. I got two boxes of the Freedom Foods Berry Flavoured Puffs. Again, two dollars a box. Two boxes of Freedom's Peach Pecan Muesli. This is for me. I've already tried it. It's delicious. Then this was really confusing. It's 36 packets of what says Scary Salt and Vinegar Mini Bites, but it's actually chicken. That's why they were reduced. So I got this whole box for five dollars and I'll show you what's inside. So 36 of these little packets of devilish chicken mini bites for five bucks. That would be fun for my kids. These be natural whole grain mini bites were a dollar a pack. Fantastic. They are used by uh, past their best before, but they're fine. They're hundred percent fine. A dollar a pack. So I grabbed six boxes. I never get this sort of thing. Um, so I must have been feeling extra generous. <laughs> $3.50 for 15 of these LCM cocoa pop bars. They're a treat. <laughs> These hair brushes were $2.50 each. I'm sure they're not the best quality, but just to have some extra hair brushes lying around. These were, I don't even know how much these were, but I always use them, so I grabbed them. Then two of these tubs. These are to go in my two, my, not my two youngest daughters, but aside from Isla, my two youngest daughters' um, drawers for sort of smaller things. These look like fun and um, we rent, so we can't really put things on the wall or whatever, but these are uh, sort of a gel feeling, sort of stick on things, but just for windows. So that seemed like something good that we could definitely put up. So I got one for the little girls and Daniel's bedroom. I should show it, do a new bedroom configuration video. Let me know if you would like that. And then the other one is for James and Isaac's room for their window. One is for your bedroom. One's for my bedroom. And one's for Layla's bedroom, yeah. So I got four tins of the Mediterranean style beans. Jack said he has tried it and he enjoys it. So I grabbed those. Whatever we don't have initially, I'll just put away to store longer term. And then these were a great deal. They're nice big cans. Rosella, good brand, Australian. Reduced sugar tomato soup, condensed tomato soup. So fantastic deal, a dollar a can. So I've got 12 of those. We don't tend to have tin soup, but we can have it occasionally. And it's also something really good to store. Then I got four packets of these rolled oats because it was $3 a pack for one and a half kilo. I thought that was quite good. They're packaged really well. There's the other one, two, three bags in there. Also, I grabbed some large sandwich bags. Also grabbed another size 
sandwich bags. I think the medium ones, I can't see them. We might find them, we might not. That's mainly just put away, so they were $2 a pack. So this is a huge thing of Kansas City style barbecue cooking sauce to chuck in with pork in your slow cooker and enjoy. These were still 30 cents a jar, so I got another four of them. These were a dollar a pack, skinless, boneless, sardines and chili peppers that sounded good so I grabbed three of those and these are actually delicious and usually much more expensive I got them for one dollar a pack sardines in oil with uh, thyme and lemon they're delicious I got I think I got five of those I got the last five they had um, me and Ava my eldest daughter loved them and then a bottle of olives, it was like $2.50, I thought that was a good enough deal, grab them. And some bullseye tangy tomato barbecue sauce, that sounded good, I thought we'd try it, I think it was $2. I also grabbed two of these packs of olive oil spread, we really enjoyed it, it actually tastes a lot like butter. I'm in my um, very loud laundry, got a washer and dryer on at the moment, I grabbed four of these, classic English ham, they were $2 each. I grabbed two of these, they were $2.50 each. The kids had it for dessert last night. So it was difficult to find this, we just found it. An eight pack of, it's like corn and lime salsa for five bucks, great deal. So we grabbed that. Our Christmas tree is looking really sad because little kids keep taking the things off them. So I went into Big W and grabbed just some baubles. I didn't like the lack of red in there. I like traditional red and gold for Christmas. <laughs> so I grabbed some little red ones as well. They're a bit gaudy. I don't know, maybe Christmas just is supposed to be gaudy. It annoys me. But anyway, it's the best I could do. Recommend these guys. That's what they look like. Okay. I... Yummy. Okay, this is being filmed on my phone because somehow both my battery packs a flat for my camera. I think because I was out and about when I changed it and totally forgot that I did that. At Woolworths this morning, I've had delivered four liters of chopped vanilla ice cream and four liters of vanilla chopped chip. These are both like new flavors from Buller. We always tend to get Buller because it's just so nice and creamy. Um, and these are just, I don't think we've tried this one. Obviously it's gonna taste like vanilla and chopped chip. This one's really good though. Uh, we do Friday night dessert, it is Friday today. And with this warmer weather, a lot of the time we also do, re regardless of anything, we commonly also have Saturday night dessert. Sometimes I'll also get some ice cream at some other point during the week. Then, two boxes of fish fillets for very simple already you know don't have to think about it. it's in the freezer to do fish tacos two packets of meat pies again this is for like a really simple lunch or dinner when we are just flat chat two bags of brussels sprouts they're the frozen um, type so I tend to cook them a bit and then put them in the oven and crisp them up. Lovely. Also two packets of frozen bread capsicum, bell pepper. Um, so this I can just throw in anything, a stir fry, a stew, anything. As a side with other vegetables, it's just very convenient to have in the freezer. Then I did order two of the diced onions for some reason. They've given me one diced onion and one pumpkin chunk. It doesn't seem like a substitution. It's probably just a mistake. Um, that's fine. I'll use it. <laughs> and then I got some shredded parmesan. Uh, I will leave a menu below because I've forgotten everything that I'm going to be making this week. Some things, it's like going to be half of the freeze meals that I've already got and then half things that I will make from scratch. Well, I will make fresh, I suppose you would say. Um, and then um, sweet chili on cream cheese. This is Chris's brand and uh, we haven't tried it before, but that was half price. Grabbed four creams for coffee. Just one butter because we've got heaps left for some reason. And then two sour creams just to have. We tend to use them in something. There are 10 milks there and we have started running out. If I get that much milk for the... Um, two weeks especially because I did get 
cereal <laughs> this fortnight, so I know that's not going to be enough. We go through a lot more milk when I let them have a bit more cereal. Um, but I have just made up the last of that powdered milk that I had utilized last week um, because we ran out yesterday. So I made uh, about I made about four liters of that up, and we still got some of that to use today. And then we do, all the breads were delivered. So I think I've got eight. Yeah, I've got eight breads. And again, I don't know that that's quite enough. But we don't go through a massive. <laughs> we don't go through a massive amount of bread. This is probably looking insane to most people with 12 people in the house and this is for two weeks um, each one doesn't even do one each loaf doesn't even do a sandwich for everyone in the house so we have to get into like two loaves to do a sandwich for everyone so it, that puts things in perspective I don't actually get that much bread and then um, I got some pita wraps that's to have I don't know about with the fish tacos I think we're having that in tortillas that I've already got so this might be because we're going to have I've got a pork shoulder in the deep freezer marinated pork shoulder that we're going to have I am going to go pick up my fruit and veggies soon but the tomatoes were a better deal at Woolworths so I grabbed the tomatoes there I'm always up for the better deal <laughs> banana chips now last time i got these i said they're not very healthy but i thought this these were made with vegetable oil and they used to be maybe it's just this brand but it's actually made with coconut oil that makes me feel better about raisins this is a much smaller pack than at costco but last time i went to costco they didn't have them and we just ran out and my kids love them it's like a little treat on the side of the couple of their lunches each week so i grabbed these just in case i don't have them at costco because i am going to run into costco today um I've got a packet of the wheat biscuits, but you've sent, I've got so much cereal this week, so I don't even know that we'll need to open this. I might just be putting this away. Basmati rice, five kilo of it. We actually just used up the last of our rice last night. We go through lots of rice. I use, um, depending on what I'm making, I use three or four cups of dried rice for our family for each meal. So when there was a limit on how much rice we could get, as in you could only get a one kilo bag sort of thing, um, that was really inconvenient because that was seriously one meal. It was really hard to get like enough of each thing to get enough meals for the week. Um, and then these party size Smith's chips were half price. Uh, so I grabbed two of them, one for my kids to enjoy and then one to put away probably. And then um, I also got another milk powder because I have one closed already. And I thought if I end up opening that one, I want one to replace it. So grab that. Plus I want to stock up on that a little bit. We'll go through it slowly because I'll use that when we run out of milk instead of getting more milk. And that way we will be using stock, uh, rotating stock. But I do want to stock up on it a bit. Uh, pineapple slices. Two big tins of tomato. I might be able to get a good deal on tomatoes at Costco, but just in case I can't, grab those. Two little packet things of pasta as well as two of tomato paste. Then I got some dry roasted almonds. I know they retain, natural almonds retain more of their nutritional value, but I do love dry roasted, so I treated myself. Pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds will go through. I even just give them as part of a picky lunch to the kids a lot of the time. I've got them in yogurt and all sorts of things. Um, and then Brazil nuts. I like to have two Brazil nuts a day because I've read that that's very healthy. <laughs> and then Italian herb mix. We go through this a lot, so I'm always buying this. You've probably noticed if you're not new here. Uh, peanut butter. This is my peanut butter. I'm going to get peanut butter for Anthony and the kids at Costco, but I love this one. And I've decided I really like this. I bought this a while back and only really drank, got into it this week because I tried it with water, I tried it with milk and there, there, there. This week, I just had this idea. You know when you're lying in bed and you have this idea? And I thought, oh, I should try it with coconut milk, the drinking type, you know, this type. And so I did that and it's delicious. I love it. So I have just, just half a cup really and heat this up in the microwave and then put some of this in this is sweetened with stevia okay there are no artificial sweeteners in here and no sugar um this and this makes a delicious 
drink during the day to help me not have so much coffee. <laughs> and then bacon seasoning. I love this stuff. I put it on my eggs and on my veggies and that sort of thing when I'm doing a morning fry up or a lunchtime fry up and it's delicious. Honey, we haven't had honey in a few weeks. So I grabbed some. I grabbed a couple of packets of milk arrowroot because it's sort of getting into baking season, isn't it? And we go through two of these to make one recipe. These can be used for all sorts of different recipes, like little chocolate balls, that sort of thing. Biscuity bases for slices and that sort of thing. So I grabbed, that'll be for one recipe, just in case. I, I think I had lots of these and I ended up, they're quite child friendly so I ended up dishing them out to people um, and then I got the Betty Crocker things for half price so I grabbed triple chocolate brownie mix and I get two of everything obviously huge family and then rainbow cookie mix so I grabbed two of those um, and they're just they were half price so I grabbed them we might not use them for two or three months who knows but we might use them both this week who knows <laughs> sponge fingers these I grabbed because it's getting into Christmas season and I'm wanting to make trifle and that sort of thing. I'm thinking of doing a trifle for YouTube. Regardless, it can't hurt to have these put away in one's cupboard at this time of year. And I also grabbed a packet. These were on sale. So Christmas classics. This box is to put away for Christmas Eve. I've got this Christmas Eve box. It's literally just a box where I'm chucking things in it. Some arts and some treats and that sort of thing for us to enjoy on Christmas Eve because I like to make Christmas Eve special. And then a lot of my kids are saying, I want the me goring, I want the me goring. I don't want chicken and that sort of thing, even little ones. So I got grabbed six packets of me goring, four packets of beef noodles and four packets of chicken noodles. This seems like a lot of noodles. I only buy the noodles, not every shop, probably every second shop. So that's like a month's worth of noodles for a family of 12. And then household and toiletry items. I didn't get too much at Woolworths. I'm gonna get a couple more things at Costco. Uh, I got some more bubble bath. This is lovely, it smells lovely. And uh, it was on sale. It wasn't half price, but it was on sale. So I grabbed some bubble bath. I even enjoy using this, it's really nice. Brute for Anthony, he doesn't need any, so that's to put away. Two lots of dishwashing powder. We've got a little bit left, so probably ones to go away, ones to use for the two weeks. Bleach, I use this on floors um, with hot water in a bucket. This is what I mop floors with, because I just like to know they're incredibly clean. Um, and then I sometimes put some through with towels in the washing machine, um, or use for various other, you know, really, grubby sort of jobs in wash booster that i put in every wash i'm going to give the costco pods a go instead of this laundry liquid i love this laundry liquid but it does it does create a lot of you know recycling our recycling bin gets full so quickly <laughs> so i thought i'd give the pods a go i just got one of these because i really need it for this morning and then i'll get the pods at costco and i've used the pods in the past they're good and then i also grabbed some wool wash I grabbed two of the hand pump soaps because I think people have thrown them out, which is really annoying. And then, <laughs> and then a refill. So these were all half price. And then three um, lots of small bin bags for bathrooms. And this is like probably more than a year's worth, but I just grab them all at once because otherwise I forget to buy them. And then last but not least, I thought I'd put this on the balcony. What do you think, Sammy? Wild yeah. bird ring. and then we can watch the meter. Yeah, we used to get a lot of cockatoos in our backyard, sitting on our fence, that sort of thing. And then we had a lot of building around us and um, they don't come and visit us anymore, which is really sad. I mean, they fly across at the local park when we're on walks and stuff. They're flying in the sky, making their pterodactyl noises. And I love them. I just love them. So I'd like to encourage, even if they don't come, maybe some other birds will. But I thought, you know, that would be cute. And it's got a thing to... We'll hang it from somewhere on the balcony. That'll be nice, hopefully. <laughs> so as you can see, I got some pretty good deals earlier in the week. I'm trying to shop at various different places in order to take advantage of things that are on sale, a good deal in bulk, 
and just generally a better price at that particular place. Okay, I would have purchased some pasta at Woolworth, but I totally forgot. I do love this pasta from Costco though. It's just more expensive, but that's fine. It's still a good deal for this quality. It's $14 for six. It's delicious, grab that. Then we have my in-laws coming for afternoon tea tomorrow. And, and I've had the question, what is afternoon tea? It's just an afternoon snack. Um, morning tea is a morning snack. These Christmas cookies were at Costco and they were actually on sale today. I think I got all of these for, I think this was actually $20, but it's usually more expensive. And there is a lot of really nice quality cookies here. It's the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five packets of really top quality cookies. So that was a good deal and I got that to serve tomorrow so I don't have to cook anything. <laughs> Some ice cream cones to go with all of the lovely ice cream I got from Woolworths. These Costco ones are really good quality and they're just $7 something for 36. 60 eggs. I've still got at least 40 eggs in the fridge so I just got one packet today. I was due to get a box of these Ajax wipes. They, they work out at the half price sort of price that you would get in a regular supermarket. Grab some laughing cow cheese, 48 of them. This was just under $10, I believe, $9 something. So I wanted to get the pods and they didn't have them. <laughs> so I grabbed this. It is hypoallergenic, which is important to me, but it is heavy. It's gonna be a nuisance oh, to use, especially if I'm wanting to try and get kids to do any laundry. So I wouldn't choose to get something that heavy and awkward, but they didn't have the pods. And this was $26 something. Apparently it does 146 loads. This kitchen spray that I got last time I really like. We've still got some left, but I grabbed more. Two packets of the frozen blueberries. Normally I get one, but we were totally out. So every now and then I get two. And then also some frozen banana. Just really handy to have for smoothies. Uh, the kids asked for these. I've tried them in the past. They do have vegetable oil, so I avoid getting them. But as you know, I said yes today. It's okay to say yes sometimes. I said yes to a few things today. <laughs> This, this I chose to get, um, Blue Corn Triangles. It's Mission brand and it's huge and it was $7 something. So I thought that was a good deal for some blue tortilla chips. And then the orange juice. You know, we always get the orange juice. And once it's gone, it's gone. And I treated myself to some of these Parmesan cheese crisps, which is just parmesan cheese it's 269 grams and it was on sale for 12 dollars something and i thought well that's probably for parmesan cheese quite a good deal usually they're over 17 dollars and i do not get them but i treated myself today and then i did end up getting the huge tins of tomato this one i've noticed is dented i don't know if we did that or if it was already like that but we grabbed that it works out each tin is the equivalent of six tins of tomato. So if I'm doing a huge batch of bolognese or something, it works out well. So it's just good to have this put away. Uh, and it oh is Lord, under $10 I got I got for what is essentially 18 tins of I tomatoes. Yeah, you did. Isaac chose this and I did say yes to him because I quite like ginger. And so it is a good price. So we grabbed that. I haven't got their garlic in quite a while. So we grabbed that, that's $7 something. People do ask for the prices. And this so. is red a bit hard. Yeah. And so I grabbed some Skippy Crunchy for Anthony and some Skippy Smooth for the kids. Mom, it's really quiet here because I've got the two babies asleep. <laughs> I've got Isaac talking to me, the two little girls doing some drawing, and the big kids are upstairs. Okay. Some greens pancake mix this was actually five dollars something for three and so i said let's grab some of that because the kids can shake that and have fun doing it themselves they had this to try um a boom chicka pop sweet and salty popcorn and it has dark chocolate drizzled over it and we try this and i tried this as well and it was delicious this sold for over so seven dollars and we grabbed this the double pack of Shredded Tasty. It works out at a really I good price. This, oh, yeah, this. I've already showed that, sweetie. And this. Okay. This. Oh, okay, sweetie. This so oh, okay, can you hop down, buddy? Um, this works out at a really good price. I can't actually remember how much it is. I grabbed this for myself as well as the protein, Yo Pro Protein. This was $13 something for 12 So I thought that was a really good price because it was just over a dollar per 
high protein yogurt. Two chickens to roast one night. I also got over three kilo of minced beef. That'll be for, I think it's for two different meals, but it might do three meals. And then I've got lots of the chicken thigh fillets. Uh, this was $21.90. It was actually $9.99 a kilo. There are 2.2 pounds in a kilo. So you can sort of work out what th that might be. $22.37 for that one underneath. And that would will do three meals. The two trays will do three meals quite easily. And then I grabbed two. The kids have already gotten into this. Thalia probiotics rich and fruity i think each one of these was seven dollars something so grab that so the kids can, ha can have some yogurt because i hadn't grabbed yogurt anywhere else i thought i might get some yogurt deals at nqr but i didn't and then costco toilet paper i'm gonna put that one away i think i think we're, we're right for toilet paper at the moment yeah i know i did darling so now i'll try and get all this stuff away while the babies are still asleep and then later on probably after dinner we'll go on a family drive and go pick up our fruit and veggies from my parents doorstep <laughs> so it's now the evening and we have been to pick up the fruit and veggies lots of background noises because i need to get the baby to bed and people are doing their post dinner jobs so from this lovely fruit and veggie place we got usually i get the kale but this week i decided to get silver beet so i got two nice big bunches of silver beet and how lovely does that look and i'm keeping the rubber band are you yeah. spring onion they didn't have apples at a good price so instead i got an extra bag of oranges Isla is loving oranges. We've still got some uh, potatoes left over from last time, but I might cook them up tomorrow and then I've got another bag. They're just such a good deal. I got two kilo of mixed colored capsicums for $10. One and a half kilo of baby spinach for $12, as I normally do. And we use this, we use this up really well. It's beautiful quality, like it lasts about a week and a half before I even think about maybe wilting any last bits down lovely and so i use this in salads in sandwiches in smoothies you know mixed in with eggs all sorts of things and then any last bit that i wilt down we just have with our dinner or in our dinner or whatever two lettuces they were two dollars each i got a kilo of mushrooms it's a kilo all up for eight dollars that's a really nice price Got some nice mushrooms. A kilo of <laughs> Lebanese cucumbers. What are you up to? <laughs> Funny boy. <laughs> and he, he gave up the dummy two nights ago. He's doing really, really well. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs> In some ways. <laughs> um, I got a kilo of zucchini. And a lot of this I don't because... Um, some of this is for specific me uh, meals, and I I'm linking. I'm um, sorry. I'm listing the meals that we're having this for these two weeks below. But I, or I still have meals frozen. Okay, so there's that. So some of these things I got just because. For instance, I don't think I have anything specific planned for the zucchini, but I just get it because I know I'll use it. And same for mushrooms. Parsley, I've already eaten a couple of these just now. Medjool date, delicious. Got those for me. And then I've got a kilo of cherries. And I think, I think that was $15 for the kilo. Maybe $10, $10 for the kilo, yeah. And then it was $9, I think, for a kilo of avocados. Haven't had avocados in a few weeks, so that'll be nice. I got four punnets of strawberries. That was just over $10. Four punnets of raspberries, and I think they were for ten dollars. Four for ten dollars, which is really, really good. And then I got this is thirteen, somewhere between thirteen and fifteen kilo of bananas, and they were actually twenty-five dollars for this huge box, which is quite deep actually. It's a deeper box than usual. Uh, yeah, five dollars more expensive this week, but I looked up in other places and they're still like half the price of anywhere else so it was worth me still doing this even though i feel like the deals there weren't as many deals this week that's okay it was still a really good deal for the bananas and i never buy fresh raspberries because they're so rarely a good price so four for ten certainly works for me i will leave as i said the meals we're having below 
and I'll leave all the prices probably here and uh, I'll list the prices below as well but I sort of have to at this time of year in particular some of the shops I buy other things that and um, have to deduct them from the total price for you so if you're new uh, welcome please subscribe if you haven't and you can click that bell and you'll get notifications when I upload a video thank you for joining me take care bye bye <music>